yeah hello and welcome everybody to today's uh, weekly analysis so right here as you can see it is AUD card daily time frame so we we'll analyze AUD card and AUD USD so that we can know exactly what we are expecting when the market opens for this particular PS to do right so right here as you can see we'll do a top down analysis but we will we'll not start from the weekly time frame we'll start from the daily time frame and we'll go down to four hour one hour and so on right so um so that i can just tell you my opinion towards what's going to happen on this particular ps being aud card and aud usd right so as you can see this is a uh, unique card daily time frame and what we are supposed to do right here if we are trying to just uh, check out the daily time frame so me personally i like to put my support and resistance line on this daily time frame so as you can see these are my major support and resistance levels right based on the fact that whenever time the market trying to reach these levels made some turning points right so as you can see this another um resistance line right resistance turn to support in an trading market you have to keep that at the back of your mind always know that right and as you can see there's another there's another support uh resistance line right here and there's another support line right there as well so as you can see, these are support and resistance levels on this particular pair uh, on daily time frame, right? And as you can see, this is another support right here as well. So yeah, as you can see, this is our support and resistance line on the daily time frame, right? But me personally, after putting my support and resistance lines on the daily time frame, I go down to one hour time, I mean to a four hour time frame to check out what's, what's happening right there as well right but before that as you can see we have some sort of price action signals right here on the daily time frame take note of these candlesticks that we are seeing right on this uh um ad card daily time frame as you can see we have some sort of price action signals right here so we have to pay attention to all of these candlestick patterns as you can see they identified or uh, they tell us that this is an indecision in the market as you can see that the market is no more that kind of more strong to the upside so we have an indecision candles right here so we call this particular candles a doji candles in the forex market so these are doges so since we already know that these are doges how we trade doges doji is actually where we pause and we wait for where the market is heading to right but right here i'm seeing this ad card as uh it will fall to our previous support line right so i'm expecting the this aud aud card to fall all the way to this price 0.94236 right but before that let's go down to four hour time frame uh so we can know exactly what's happening on the four hour time frame as well as you can see this is acting as our um triple top so it's kind of acting as our tri triple top on this daily time frame this is the first touch right here the second touch right here and this is third touch right here so i'm expecting despite the fact that there is an indecisive candles at our um resistance zone so what we are supposed to be doing right here is we wait for the uh, next move is the move going to go to the upside trying to break out of this uh um resistance level or is going to be it's going to be strong to the downside so that's what we are supposed to be waiting for right here on this area but before that let's go down to four hour time frame so that we can know exactly what are we supposed to be expecting on this for our time frame as well right so these are the one of the reasons why this particular uh pair uh to fall all the way to the downside and as you can see that this is for our time frame for this particular uh pair being a ud card right then since we already already know that this is for our time frame then i'm seeing some sort of uh, changes right here inside this place right and as you can see uh i'm having this flag i'm seeing this as a flag right on this particular time frame if you just observe this move 
if you just observe this flag so and uh, how do you trade a flag so if you have a breakout to the upside definitely i will consider it as a tool buy so that's why i say it is very very important for us to wait for the move on this particular pair so is the move going to go to the upside or it's going to go to the downside we have to check look out for all of these impulsive candle marabozu or some sort of price action signals before we get in into this market right but uh, what i'm seeing right here is the market is just kind of making low 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 high and a lower low but we're trying to see what exactly is going to happen when the market opens right but i should be expecting a sell um to this my previous zone before it will continue buying all the way to the upside for this particular pair being ad car right then let's go down to one hour time frame and see what exactly is happening on one hour time frame as well and as you can see this one hour time frame and you can start putting your trend line like this on this one hour time frame right so this is our trend line on the one hour time frame and as you can see got broken right here and uh even retested it but we'll see if the market will keep continue going down to the downside so i'm expecting this particular pair to sell all the way to my previous support level being uh around price 0 0.94236 so yeah um that's all about it for this AUD card and you can also go down to smaller time frames like a uh, uh, 15 minutes 30 minutes to check out for some sort of a uh, uh entry point right then let's go down to AUD USD so that we can know exactly what we are expecting on this particular PR as well so um that's it for every card so right here it is aud usd they will check out for daily time frame according to what i told you when uh we started this video right so um you zoom out a little bit so you can see where the market is heading to right okay so as you can see the market is constantly making a move to the upside making a higher high high low higher high high low higher high high low moves confirming that the market is going to the upside right but let's start with plotting our support and resistance levels so we can know exactly what's going to happen when the market opens right and as you can see this is our support and resistance line on this particular pair being aud usd right so as you can see this is the support and resistance level for this particular pair on daily time frame right so the next thing that we're supposed to do right here after we plot our support and resistance line we are supposed to look out for some sort of price action signals being candlestick patterns right so uh we usually look out for that on the current market price or where the market is uh, currently moving right as you can see right here this is where the market is moving but we are having a lot of candlestick patterns right at this point right so we are having a, uh, as you can see this was a hangy man kind of doji and things like that right here but what i'm seeing now is that the market is not able to break out of this resistance line so that it will go up for another higher high right but i'm seeing uh some sort of rejections and exhaustion candles telling me that hey israel i'm not going to go to the upside actually i'm gonna go to the downside right so i'm expecting this AUD usd to sell all the way to this point as well but if this particular uh uh price or zone get broken around price 0 0.70642 once it got broken i'll be expecting to sell all the way to this price 0 0.66615 so before it will start buying all the way to the previous a resistance zone right but right here what we are supposed to be doing is we're supposed to go down to lower time frames or um, i mean we're supposed to go down to for our time frame so we can see exactly what the market is doing right there as well and as you can see that the market is not able to make another high high move but rather than we are seeing all these kind of move confirmations to the downside right here if you just observe what is happening right at this point right so as you can see the market was constantly making uh higher high high low higher high high low 
higher high. They came down for retracement again to make another a higher low move. Then it's supposed to go up to the upside right from here, supposed to make another higher high move. But rather than the market was not able to make that kind of move, rather it made lower high move, but right here, it's kind of trying to come to the downside and retest its previous support level, right? So I'm expecting this AUD USD to sell all the way to this point around price 0 0.70642. So let's go down to one hour time frame so we can see exactly what's happening on the one hour time frame as well. And as you can see, the market is being choppy right here, but uh, we are seeing a lot of moves to the downside right here, confirming that the market is gonna go to the downside, right? And as you can see that the market just came down for a high low move, lower high, then made a lower low to this point. If you just observe it right here, as you made a lower low move, then the market made another retracement to go up for lower high. So it's not able to break out of this previous high, you know, pre our previous high, right? Once you break out of this previous high and close above it, definitely the market is gonna go and break out of this level, right? But rather than the market was not able to make that move and came down all the way uh, to the downside right here. But right now, I'm seeing another move to come down all the way to this point, making it another lower low move before it to come up for retracement again and continue going down for another lower low move. So I'm expecting this AUD USD to sell when the market opens. So guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm so Ezra the Trader. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also like this video because that's a way that you can tell me that, okay, hey Israel, we are supporting what you're doing right here on YouTube. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my Telegram channel as well. So thank you very much for watching. I'm so easy with the trader. And I'm out, guys. I will see you in our next YouTube video. Stay safe.